What's up everybody, so here we got our Note 8 fresh out of the box. I'm going to go ahead and walk through the setup of it, as well as show how to transfer data onto the phone from an older device. So go ahead and start, enter SIM card, I'll do that later. You go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi here. Alright, terms and conditions, go ahead and agree to all these. I don't want to send diagnostics data though. Go ahead and next. Okay, so go ahead and put in your Google account, and you can't skip this if you don't have a Google account. I mean, some people might not have a Google account. So anyways, you can't skip this. I'm going to go ahead and put my email in because I want to set my stuff up. So here it's asking what phone do we wanted to restore our data from, and then it has a list of the phones you've accessed and how long ago you accessed them. So I'm going to go ahead and do my S8, and I'm actually going to skip restoring the apps for right now, and actually, let's go ahead and do the fingerprint one. We have our, our terribly paced fingerprint sensor up here. Let's go ahead and set that up. So I'll go ahead and put in a pin. And then I do this for situations where well, you might want your phone to use a pin and only a pin. So I do this on startup. You don't have to. I like to do this. Okay, so now that my pin set, it's showing me how to cover the fingerprint sensor. I can already tell this one is going to be kind of terrible in the same way that the one on the S8 is terrible. So I'll go ahead and continue. You can add up to eight fingerprints, I think, or four fingerprints. Either way, I'll add some other ones later. Go ahead and continue. Click on only. Done. Next. So this is asking you what Google services you want on or off. I'm gonna go ahead and leave most of these on, except I don't turn this on usually. Hit next, and then you can set up the Google Assistant if you like. So this is all Google stuff. If you skip this, uh, you'll be able to still do the Samsung backup, which once it goes through this, it's probably gonna ask for Samsung account login. And that's where I will do the app restores from my S8. Your Samsung account um, sign in is also gonna let you set up Samsung Pay and all this other good stuff. If you want to do themes, you're going to need this. You can skip this, but I'm going to go ahead and sign into my account. Okay, so now that we've signed into our Samsung account, it's asking us where do we want to get old content from. If you use Samsung devices previously, you can use the Samsung Cloud if you had that set up. Or you can use Smart Switch, which will work with most any phone. Go ahead and select that. Okay, so here we see supported old devices, anything Android 4.3 and higher iOS 5 and higher, and BlackBerry 7. So we're gonna need this guy. This is gonna go on our new phone. And then whatever device you have, use the charging cable from it to connect from here to the new phone. So plug in our USB cable over here, and then the Type-C side will go into the Galaxy S8. Again, this will work with any device you have. I've just been using my S8 a lot lately. <laughs> okay, so now that we have those connected, we see allow access, on, allow access to phone data. You're gonna wanna hit allow. And so because they're both Galaxy phones, it knows it's a Galaxy device. But even if it weren't, it would still know, it would still get a pretty good idea of what device it was. So I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do contacts since that's gonna get pulled from my Google account. I'm just gonna stick with my call log and I'm not gonna do images since I use Google Photos. So there you have it. it, gives you an option of what it's gonna transfer over, and it'll tell you about how long it's gonna take based on how much you select. So if I select less things, the time goes down as the size goes down. So just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna not do my apps and data, but you can select everything. So I'm just gonna stick with that for now. We'll go ahead and hit transfer. And if you don't have a Galaxy device, it'll ask you to download Smart Switch from the Google Play Store. And then once you have that, then it'll let you do this process right here. And then this is asking if you want certain features turned on or off. And then if you want weather, you can turn this on or off. You hit finish and then let it do its thing. And once it's done, it'll tell you when you can disconnect it. Okay, so our smart switch is at 97%. So we're pretty much done transferring everything that we wanted to transfer over. And so the transfer portion is complete. Over here, we've got all done. You can disconnect this now and close out of that and disconnect this guy. So we're done with our old phone. But so once everything's been moved over from the other phone, it's gonna start processing through the data and updating, for example, like mine, it's updating the call logs, it's updating my messages, it's updating my alarms. And so that's kind of what's happening right now. And it's installed whatever I told it to install from the other phone. So I'll go ahead and 
just fast forward through this. Okay, so everything's finished. We've got the folders that I had on my S8, and of course not all the apps right here because I didn't select all the apps, but everything that was set up the way I had chosen is transferred over now. So there we have it. The phone is set up for a lot more videos on the Note 8. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram. So until next time, keep you here for more Note 8 videos. Take care.